Hi, my name is Abed and I am one of the leaders for the Harry Watt University of Malaysia Art Installation Project under the Empower program and MakerZ. This is my impact statement. I am an enabler of revolutionary ideas. My purpose is to bring people's ideas to life in a way that is the most beneficial to the world and environment. My goal is to bring people together as a team and to create and innovate through teamwork. As the world progresses into the 21st century, the impact we have on the environment has never been more important. Our carbon footprint is something that can and must be controlled in order to reduce the effects of climate change to provide a better outcome for our future. Our team was inspired by this idea of reducing our carbon footprint and proposed to build an art installation for Harry Watt University of Malaysia out of mostly recycled materials. We developed a unique design that represents our university's hashtag, hashtag WattUni, with the shield of arms on the side. This is to be showcased primarily in our very own plaza at the campus. Here are the dimensions for the structure. As you can see, the structure is relatively large as these dimensions are in centimeters. Our plan for the implementation of the structure includes the use of recycled plastic bottles, poly aluminum, and acrylic. Poly aluminum is a rigid material that has been developed by TetraPak using recycled paper and plastic. The poly aluminum will be used to provide rigidity to our structure, while the recycled plastic bottles will be used to internally reinforce the structure. The shield of arms, however, will be 3D printed. Prior to the pandemic, our partnership with TetraPak and KPT Recycle involved a site visit where we were able to see how recycled materials were made into poly aluminum to be used for rigid structures, such as roof tiling. As you can see on the first two pictures, shredded paper and plastic is used to be is used and wrapped using anti-static shielding packaging material, which is then compressed into a solid form in the last picture. This was an eye-opening experience for me as 90% of the poly aluminium comes from recycled waste. Our future plan for this project is that once university facilities open, we will be able to collect poly aluminium and use plastic bottles from our partners in order to build a structure with our team and have it showcased at the plaza in our campus. Thank you very much. Finally, I would like to give thanks to the Empower program for enabling us to carry out this project and the members of the Maker Z Club that have shown a great interest in this project. Special thanks to Ms. Jasmine and Dr. Steven for supporting us throughout this project. Thank you.